Hey, what's up, guys? I thought uh, Ben Awad's video on YouTube was pretty cool. The one uh, with the drop zone uh, file uploader with GraphQL and uh, sends it to your AWS bucket. I thought I'd do a little follow-up video, um, just a simple little add-on, and I'll show you what it's going to do uh, without any further suspense, it's this progress bar right here, or just a uh, number of progress, however you want to track the progress of the upload. So uh, this is the dropper, and I got to say his tutorial was super easy to follow and worked first try pretty much. Um, so let's see, just come up with a name, whatever. name and your drop zone and this works it's better with the larger the file so you know sometimes a file that's like 100k or whatever isn't going to look as cool it's going to go too fast so i've got like you know one two three four megabyte photos here i'll do a 4.1 megabyte photo And if you look at the, I looked at some of the drop, this is the first time I ever used drop zone, that's awesome. You can get some of the information, like the name, the type, size. Anyway, click upload file. And this bar, there we go. Yeah. Pretty sweet. So, Pretty easy to implement. Uh, let's see here. Go up to the spot. There it is. In his upload to S3 function, um, in the options object, he had headers, file type. Then I just added in one more. Um, method there to the options. One more option, I guess, but it happens to be a method um, called on upload progress. And this is right off some of the Axios docs. The only thing I had to change in the docs, it had it without the fat arrow, it had, you know, function without the fat arrow here like so and that throws an error due to trying to call uh, this that set state with the binding so you just just switch it to an arrow function and um, yeah var percent complete this came right out their site math round progress event that loaded times 100 divided by progress event total uh, so it does the math for you right there and then I just created a piece of state, call it progress, and then just call it set state every time this progress event is fired. So it, it goes pretty easily. And then I just start out the progress is zero. You could probably start it out as null too. Um, and then I just use, you can use the built-in HTML progress bar, but I'm using Material UI um, not version one that just came out. It's the original material UI or whatever, below one, I guess you could call it. Uh, and they have this linear progress bar. And to set it up in material UI, you can give it a color, uh, determinate mode. So it actually shows the actual level of the progress. And it actually defaults with a a min of zero and a max of a hundred. So that's what you want to put in if you use the HTML. You want to make sure you put your max and min and then assign your value. So this is going to be a number between zero and a hundred because of our function up there. So this already has the max and min built in so I don't have to declare it. That's the default. But if you're using you know if you're using the uh, HTML progress element you're going to want to go You know, min equals zero. Max 
accent all weird. And then I just styled it bigger so you could everyone could see it. But in reality, we want it small. And that's pretty, that's pretty much it. Um, go right into Axios. And that's a little small. Go right into Axios. You can put a progress bar. And you've got it in state. So you can pretty much hook that number up to anything that, you know, you can make your own progress ball, whatever you want. But progress bar is super easy to do. And once again, just this on upload progress, function of progress event. You can put in this little thing with Jigger, it gives you a nice round integer, and put it to your state. All right, there it is. Enjoy.